welcome to aa cuber if you if if your cube has been disassembled or or somebody has disassembled your 3 by 3 rubik's cube i am going to be showing you how to reassemble it so if you want to assemble it first you need to know what is a corner a corner has three colors and a edge has two colors and this is the core now you know the parts of the 3 by 3 rubik's cube we can get started on arranging all the parts so we'll get started by arranging the corners we will keep them like this on the bottom part so we can see the corner easily to assemble it and for the edges we'll keep them like this so so the colors are split so we can see them also but this will not stand like this it can stand if you keep it very steady so we'll do the edges and the corners so the corners we have to make them stand and the edges also we can try to make them stand so the corners so the corners are almost arranged and the last corner like this so the corners are fully standing up and the edges we can lay down like so we can lay down the edges and then keep them here so we can see the edges also now we will now we will start reassembling it so first we'll take any one edge i'm going to be taking a green and red and we'll just in we'll just use this empty spot we'll push it in and then we'll just push it towards this correct spot so now we can pick the white and green edge or we can pick the white and red edge to put it here so i'm going to be picking green and white and i'll just slide it in and then that has made one empty slot so now we can keep the corner in so this corner the corner is green white and red so we'll just slide it in and then now and then we will take the edge that is the white and red edge and we'll just slide it in from the top and then we will take the edge we can pick any three of these colors we can pick green white or red i'm going to go with white so now we'll take the white and blue edge and then we'll push it in here and then now we will take the white blue and red corner and then keep it between these two colors and then now we will take the red and blue edge and then push it in and then for these two we only have two colors left now so we can do any of these colors red or white so i'm going with white so the white and orange edge we'll just push it in and then we'll take the white the white orange and blue corner and slide it in and then take the then take the orange and blue corner and also slide it in now we are not going to be doing the last pair first we'll complete the whole yellow side so now we'll take the yellow and blue edge and then we'll just put it over here and then we'll take a corner but we can we can keep this edge first then this corner so we'll take the yellow and orange edge and then slide it in now we will keep the now we will keep the corner the yellow blue and orange corner we'll push it in so that might move some of your pieces we can just rearrange them by pushing them and then we'll do the same for this these two so now we will get the yellow and red edge and then just push it in 
and then we'll take the yellow blue and red edge red corner and keep it there and then now we will take this part then this part so we will take the edge the yellow and green edge and then just push it in and then take the yellow yellow red and green edge and also push it in and then for the last three pieces we will not do the edge first first we'll keep both of these corners in by pushing them hard for both of these and then we will push the edge very hard inside by pulling on any one corner and then you will have it reassembled bye